How are you guys doing? Today is Saturday, March 5th, 2022. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an individual profile on Bo Bichette. The Elite shortstop for the Toronto Blue Jays turns 24 today, and my intention with this episode, of course, is to zoom in and look at how Bo Bichette has been an elite player, at least within this game, um, looking at how he's been able to impact this team game in and game out on a, mi- on a micro level, and of course, I'm going to zoom out and look at how he's been able to impact the sport on a macro level, considering that he is one of very few players to even lead the league, to lead the American League in a statistical category, considering you have thousands, tens of thousands of people that are competing for these limited spots in the league. I got to bring this up every time just to bring up to the fact that these are the individual players who are holding these positions. And not to mention that Bo Bichette is a young player that very well could go on his way to make a serious mark in this game, considering he is only 24 and he has a lot of accolades and accomplishments even up until now to kind of show for it. And just even with that said, even like right now, as he turns 24, he's even worked his way up to being an all-star in this league. So... Here's the story. Originally from um, Orlando, Florida, St. Petersburg, he would go on to establish himself as the Florida player of the year. Florida's Mr. Baseball in high school. Um, He would go on to commit to play baseball at Arizona State, but but instead of going there, he would end up being taken in the second overall or the second round with the 66th overall selection of the 2016 MLB draft out of high school. I'm looking at other players who were taken, or at least within that draft, in that, or at least within that round. Pete Alonzo, the elite first baseman for the New York Mets, was actually taken a couple picks before him. Corbin Burns and Shane Bieber would end up being taken in the fourth round of that draft to understand exactly when his draft was. And ever since he was drafted by the Toronto Blue Jays, he was a member of the organization. He would officially get called up in his age 21 season in 2019. In his very first season, he would go on to play 46 games in a season where the Toronto Blue Jays finished with a 67-95 and record. They had won six games less than the previous record. This would be the third season in a row in which they had failed to make the playoffs. In that 2019 season, in those 46 games... Bachette would finish with 32, or I guess he finished with 61 hits in those 46 games, actually. He had 15 more hits than games. He had 32 runs, 11 home runs alongside 21 RBIs. He would finish the season with a 311 batting average. His 355, 358 OBP and 571 slugging percentage would combine to a 930 OPS. He hasn't even hit above 900 in a full regular season yet to this date, but that was just his debut. Um, but after the Blue Jays would miss the playoffs, this would transition into his second season with the team. His age 22 season would come in 2020 when the COVID-19 would shorten the 162-game season to 60 games for every single team involved. And because they shortened the season, they did expand the playoffs so that eight teams in the American League and the National League could compete. And because they expanded it, the Toronto Blue Jays would just squeeze in as they finished with the eighth best record in the American League. In his age 22 season, um, Bo Bichette would play 29 games in a season where the Blue Jays finished with a 32-28 and 28 record. After playing less than half the games, he finished with 37 hits in those 29 games. That would be eight more hits than games played, making it his second year straight of doing that. He had 18 runs. He had nine doubles five home runs alongside 23 RBIs. He would finish with a 301 batting average and he would finish with a combined 840 OPS on base plus slugging. But even in his first two games, they would combine for 75 total games played, which is not even half the amount of games that's played in a regular season. Um, Once the Blue Jays made it to the playoffs, they would end up getting swept by the Rays in two. And this would lead into the first full season that Bo Bichette has ever played with the Toronto Blue Jays. In his third season playing with the team in his age 23 season in 2021, he would go on to play 159 games for a Blue Jays team that finished with a 91 and 71 record. They would go on to finish with 24 more wins in their last full season. But since they had the fourth best record in the AL East, With 91 wins, they would fail to make the playoffs. 
This was in this most recent season was the season in which Robbie Ray would win the Cy Young from within the team. In his first full season as a Blue Jay, he would finish with an American League high 191 hits in 159 games. And of course, this being the first full season he's played, this is the only time in his career he's actually led the American League in a statistical category. And considering its hits is pretty wild, he would finish his 191 hits would end up being 32 more hits than games played he had 121 runs of course making it his first season with over 100 runs he had 30 doubles on the year making it his first season with 30 doubles he had 29 home runs and 102 rbis of course of course both of which were career highs 25 stolen bases his first 25 stolen bases season he would finish the season with a 298 batting average. His 343 on base percentage and 484 slugging percentage would combine for an 828 on base per, uh, with an 828 OPS, which is the lowest OPS he's put up in a season to date. But at the same time, this is the longest season that he's played. In addition to being named an all star, he would go on to finish 12th in MVP voting in a race that would see Shohei Otani of the Los Angeles Angels be given the award. But of course, after the Blue Jays missed the playoffs, it leads us to where we are now as Bo Bichette is 24 now and he is about to enter his age 24 season if the MLB will of course allow teams to play but I can't wait to see how he of course matures um, over the next few years as he is years away from even hitting 30 and especially because he's playing for such a young core with the Blue Jays I can't wait to see what happens next thanks for listening to this piece I do a ball as well if you ever get a chance to watch Bo Bichette he wears number 11 for the Blue Jays um, and of course he's a very fun player to watch if you and, if, and I would imagine that most Blue Jay fans are very aware of that by now with that said thanks for listening I do a ball as well and I'll catch you with another episode after this peace out